Good morning traders. We're two minutes into the market open here looking at the screener on my laptop. This is day number 82 I believe of the small cap market open test trading. Might be 83. I need to check that. So we are on our way to completing the testing of uh, taking 100 trades using this trading plan to verify its profitability. So right now we have VERU. I have to pull that up on the daily chart. See if it meets the daily chart criteria. It meets the screener criteria. We've got some lines on the chart again. Just uh, left click and then hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of these quickly. So this is trading above the 200 MA. So we can uh, look for the pre-market high or previous day high, whichever is higher. Mark that out on the chart. That's the first level I want to see broken. All right, there we go. So we'll go back to the daily and see if there's anything else to look at here. I'll show you the screener in just a moment. And so yeah, we're, we're all caught up for now, which is pretty typical at this time. The market just opened. So let me show you the screener and you can see what I'm looking at on my laptop. Just make sure, excuse me, that I'm not muted here. Nope, good. All right, so uh, organize the list by volume, and you can see VERU, it's meeting uh, all of our screener criteria, but it's the only one doing that. Everything else, um, this is kind of the limit of our volume requirement right now, 500,000 shares or more. So everything else is trading below that level, but it is only uh, four minutes basically into the market open. And as time goes by, there will be more stocks that will pop up into that volume range. And that's kind of why I like to have my uh, volume filter wide open. I don't filter the volume because I want to see the stocks as they're moving up. Um, otherwise, you could miss something uh, as it's moving toward your uh, filters, basically. So anyway, for now, we'll leave the screener up. And uh, we know that VERU is nowhere near... Uh, triggering a trade. Let's go back to that real quick and see where that previous line, the previous high is $10.73. So if we look at the screener here, we can see the price is at $9.16.15. It's going down. <laughs> so anyway, nowhere near um, triggering a trade. Let me just get my little sign up here. And I'm going to mute for now, and I'll be back as soon as there's something interesting.
All right, so GSM is uh, gaining volume. It's getting close to our threshold, and obviously it's up over 20%. Um, so let's take a look at it on the chart and just get ready, uh, just in case it meets our volume threshold. So let's pull it up here. You can see what ha what's happening with VERU. Not missing anything there. GSM. So this one we've obviously traded in the past. Lots of lines on the chart. Let's just get rid of those quickly so we can start fresh. All right. So we can see it's trading above the 200 MA. Now we're going to look at it on the daily chart. I'm sorry, on the uh, five minute time frame, just so that it's easier to get a big picture view. Obviously, not as big picture as, as the daily chart, but bigger than a one minute chart. So that's just what I like to do to get my uh, previous high mark out. So let's see here. The high of this candle is 760. That ought to do it. So obviously it already broke above that level. So we can put our second yellow line out. But we need to break above that as well. Um, actually, I need to go to the one minute chart to do this part. Okay. So to, it ends up amounting to the same thing. That's not always going to be the case, but. All right, so 785. And then at some point, we need, if we're going to take a trade, if we're going to get triggered to take a trade, it needs to break out over that high of day after breaking through the previous high. So we're just placing this arbitrarily. We don't know where it'll end up or if the price will even come back up above that level. But that's what we need to see in order to be able to take a trade on GSM. So I'm just going to refresh my screener on my laptop. Check it one more time before I mute you guys or mute myself, I should say. All right, so there's another stock, ARRY, that is well over the volume threshold and not quite at the percent change threshold that we want to see, but it's getting close. So um, same thing with FRO. So I could just check those two on the daily chart. We can't trade them yet. They still haven't met fully met our screener criteria, but just to see if we can dismiss them or we need to keep an eye on them. Yeah, see, a -A, sorry, ARRY can be dismissed. FRO. That one's trading right around the 200 MA. It's above it, but since it's so close, I'm going to put a purple line out because my plan says that I can only take a trade if the entry is above the 200 MA on the daily chart. So let's see, yeah, 803, I think we're there. Let's make it like that. Now we're going to make that line purple so we know what it is. And FRO um, is meeting our volume requirement, but not our percent change requirement. It's at 3.67, needs to be above five. Let's see what it looks like on a smaller time frame here. Let's do the five minute first. Okay. So there's our previous session high. And yeah, this one looks looks kind of funky. Excuse me. Um, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it's just light on the volume. Even though it's it's on the first page, it's probably the tenth or twelfth stock down. It's over six hundred thousand shares right now at the moment, but it's still kind of light volume for this time of the day. But it meets the volume requirement, and we could see here that it is setting up our pattern. <clears throat> And it's at 4.05% right now. So it's very close to meeting our percent change threshold.
But see, if I place this line here and this thing pulls back, this would not be a um, trade that's part of our plan because it hasn't met the 5% threshold yet. So got to be careful here. In fact, I need to delete this just so that I don't get confused into taking a trade. We've got GSM now that is meeting our all of our requirements. Just needs to kind of come back up above that yellow line. VTNR as well. Let's look at VTNR. Let me just pull that up on the daily chart. Okay, that's obviously above the 200 MA. Let's see where the previous high, previous high is up there. So I go back pre-market after market and previous day. So the previous day is 1206. So it's got a ways to go before this thing triggers a trade. <clears throat> Just looking at the screener one more time. All right, Riot popped up all of a sudden. I don't remember seeing that, or at least not in the green. Maybe it was up in the red. But I think that one is below the 200 on the daily. We'll just double check. Yep. So we could dismiss that one. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could find something else to put in its place. FRO is only at 3.5, 3 3.67% now. So still technically not tradable at this point. BTNR, GSM, those are at the bottom of the screener. So yeah, we have everything on the chart. I just need to get rid of Riot and uh, we could pull VTNR back up. Let's put it over here. All right, so here's the thing. With FRO, this already met our setup requirement but did not meet our screener cri uh, criteria, so we have to reject this stock because this would have been it. And if it triggers an entry anywhere down here, it's not within our uh, plan to trade it because it was never over 5% change. So we just have to let FRO go. take a look at quadruple U. It's very close again to the percent change threshold. And I'm pretty sure this one is above the 200 on the daily. Nope, it's below it. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about that. So is there anything else? We just get rid of these lines while I have this up.
All right, so I'm going to show you the screener and then uh, probably going to mute for a little bit. So we're pretty much in a holding pattern at this point. So here's what we're looking at. VERU, Riot was below the 200 MA. Same thing with ARRY. Quadruple U was below. FRO, we know what happened with that one. VTNR, we have that on the chart page. GSM, we're watching as well. Playboy, that one is a new one, but is it on the first page of the laptop screen or that? I'm not sure about. Nope, it's uh, just below, so it, it doesn't meet the uh, trading plan criteria. Uh, the lowest thing on my laptop is actually not even here, A-L-U-R. That's probably because it's right around the, the market cap threshold. It's at $1.99 billion on my laptop, so let me see what happens if I refresh this. There it is. So that's the lowest thing I'm seeing on my laptop. And that is part of my trading plan is to only trade stuff that's on the first page of my screen or on my laptop. And that's just because I want to be trading in the highest volume stocks. So um, yeah, anything else below is not enough volume relative to what else is trading that day as far as I'm concerned. So, and that, that, I mean, that's just part of my trading criteria. So you have to draw the line somewhere. You have to have some type of a threshold. Otherwise, you won't be able to track if what you're doing works or not. So uh, anyway, that's where we are right now. I'm going to mute for now, and then uh, we'll come back. Uh, I'm going to pull the chart page up, actually, really quick, and then we'll mute. Just double-check everything. Yeah, so nothing has been triggered yet. You can see that GSM has not made it back over that yellow line so all right so we're going to mute for now I'll keep this charts up so we can watch the price action and i'll be back as soon as there's something interesting
All right, Sky H just popped up on the screener. Let's see what that looks like on the daily first. All right. So this is one we were looking at yesterday. The daily is now, the daily 200 MA is now at 1119. And let's just get it on a smaller time frame. So it's got to get up over that level before um, we can take a trade. And then all of our kind of uh, pattern requirements must, uh, at least for the entry, must take place above that 200 MA line. So there is the previous session high, 1065. Just checking the screener here. Yeah, so uh, let's take a look at the screener together and you can see what's going on. Just do this to kind of refresh it. All right, so VERU, I'm just pointing out the ones that meet our screener uh, criteria. So VTNR is below it slightly, but obviously if the price came up to where we're going to be triggered to take a trade, it would be well above our screener criteria. So that's why it's still on the chart page. There's Sky H right there. GSM, we have that. And then the lowest stock, excuse me, <coughs> on my laptop screener page is uh, AVYA. So that's it. That's pretty much all we're looking at right now. We don't have a lot going on. Once again, I mean, this, this week is pretty slow. And, uh, yeah, I guess it could be frustrating, especially if you're a new trader. But uh, if you've been doing this for a while, you know that when the market isn't doing what you need it to uh, to meet your requirements for a trade then the best thing to do is to just wait it out because eventually it will come back and if you start just trying different things if you try to adapt to the market uh, more than likely you're going to get burned so uh, the best thing to do is just wait it out if you've been trading for you know 10 15 years or something and you've had the ability to test multiple strategies and all different types of market situations that's one thing but this is basically the first bear market that i've seen since i started trading in 2020 i started obviously right around the pandemic so there is no way that uh, i could have come up with a, stra uh, a strategy or a plan in place for a market situation like this because this is the first time we're seeing it and i'm um, still working on my bull market strategy so doesn't make sense to uh, try and do those both at the same time uh, and this this strategy this test that we're trading right now has been in place since september of 2021 so it's taken a lot longer than expected to complete it but that's for multiple reasons but one of them is because of the market conditions previous to this small cap trading plan we were testing a mid cap plan and that only took about two and a half months, I believe, or a month and a half, something like that, to, to collect 100 trades. But the market was trading quite differently then, so uh, obviously this is taking quite a bit longer than we anticipated, but we're almost there. We're 90 trades in. We only have 10 more to go, so we just need to stay strong and stick to the plan, stick to the strategy, and eventually we will complete it. So let's do one more refresh, and then I will mute again. We've only got about 27 minutes or so of trading or at least looking for a trade left in the day. All right, and let's go back to the chart page. There's nothing new there. All right, nothing to get excited about here either. So um, one thing I'm going to do on Sky H is I'm going to throw out arbitrarily the second yellow line 
and just assume that it's going to happen below that 200 MA. It doesn't really matter. It can always be moved up and then throw out the white line. So, uh, and actually what I'm going to do, this is something I don't normally do, but just because I've had issues with it in the past, if I get triggered to take a trade, I want to make sure that I'm above that 200 MA line. So I'm just going to put a green line out there to signify an entry point and um, make sure that it happens above that 200 MA when I get triggered. That's just a reminder. So nothing may happen with this guy H, so that might be all for nothing, but uh, just wanted to do it just in case. And it's good just to even go through that kind of mental process in your head because at some point we're going to get triggered into another trade that is trading right around the 200 MA on the daily. So for now, uh, let me just set this to the one minute chart. And I'm going to mute for now and we'll be back if anything interesting pops up.
Well, guys, it looks like it might be another no trade day. That's three in a row. I don't remember the last time that's ever happened. Maybe it's never happened before. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to trade consecutive days, but even in the past few months when I've just been trading two or three days a week, it seems like um, at least one to two of those days have been trade days. So uh, anyway, it's pretty shocking. As I'm saying this, GSM is starting to pop up here, but it's got so far to go before it uh, meets a, uh, our requirements to trigger a trade. So, I mean, I'm not giving up yet. It's still not 1030, but I'm just thinking about wrapping the video up and um, doing my summary because at the end of all of these live videos, I don't want to edit any of these videos. I want you to see everything that happens between 930 and, and 1030 or 930 and whenever I end the video. But um, yeah, just thinking uh, I'm going to wrap it up today and give you the summary now. And you can decide whether or not you want to go back and uh, watch what we were looking at throughout the video because there were no trades today. Once again, third day in a row. Uh, it's pretty crazy. But I mean, all I can do is stick to my plan and stick to my strategy, exercise trader discipline. That is the, the only good thing about these days where we're not triggered to uh, take a trade is that it gives us an opportunity to exercise our trader discipline and it is like a muscle and it can get weak over time if you don't use it and if you don't use it bad things are going to happen i can guarantee that so we at least did that i'm just looking at the screener here on uh, my laptop i'm going to check it one more time and then maybe i'll show you on the desktop just to make sure that nothing new is popping up here as we speak Nope, it looks like the usual suspects. So everybody that we have here on the chart page is what's on the screener. And let's take a look at the screener one last time before we wrap things up today. All right, so everything looks like it's matching on both computers. Now, OLO, I don't see that one. Yeah, these GSM and OLO might be below the first page now. Let me refresh one more time on my laptop. Yes, both of those are now off of the first page of the screener. So basically that means that GSM is no longer tradable because it's not high enough volume relative to the rest of the stocks. EDU which just fell off now. Um, let's see. Yeah, SFX now is the lowest stock on the first page of the screener of my laptop. So basically just from here up is fair game if it meets our other criteria. So that's where we are. And um, I just need to go and remove GSM from my chart page just in case it does do something before 1030. Actually, um, I'm going to leave it up because uh, I can guarantee this. If this thing somehow makes it through these levels in the next 10 minutes or so, which is, I mean, that's like a million to one shot, but the volume will have to increase. It will have to move up. So I'm going to leave it up for now. And uh, I mean, more than likely, not, absolutely nothing is going to happen in the next 10 minutes. None of these stocks are even close to triggering a trade. So that's why I'm wrapping things up right now. So as always, I'm, I'm just going to leave you with always take your stop losses on your profit target. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, <laughs> always enter every trade with a plan and stick to that plan no matter what. Then once you're in that trade, always take your stop losses on your profit targets. And in the long run, you should be green. Take care.